हेलो नमस्ते माई सेल्फ एम एस भास्करगाँव असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमेनिटीज एंड साइंसेस वालचंद इंस्ट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर नो लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्रेस द गिवन फंक्शन इन फोर इयर सीरीज इन द इंटरवल माइनस एल टू एल नो द फोर इयर सीरीज ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स इन द इंटरवल माइनस एल टू एल इज गिवन बाय f of x is equal to a naught plus summation of n equal to one to infinity a n cos n pi x by l plus b n sin n pi x by l, where a naught is equal to one by two l integration from minus l to l f of x dx, and a n is equal to one by l integration from minus l to l f of x cos n pi x by l dx. And b n is equal to one by l integration from minus l to l. f of x sin n pi x by l dx. Now these are the Euler's formula to find the Fourier constants a naught, a n, and b n. Now pause the video and find b n for the function f of x is equal to zero when minus pi is less than x is less than zero, and equal to three when zero is less than x is less than pi u. I hope you have completed here. f of x equal to zero when minus pi u is less than x is less than zero and equal to three when zero is less than x is less than pi u. Now comparing minus pi u to pi u with minus l to l, here you get l is equal to pi u. Now b n is equal to one by l integration from minus l to l f of x sine of n pi x by l dx, which is equal to here one by l means one by pi u l is pi u integration from minus Pi u to zero, and here f of x is zero. That is zero into sine n pi x by pi u dx plus integration from zero to pi u. In zero to pi, f of x is three. Therefore, here three into sine of n pi x by pi u dx, which is equal to three by pi u, taking three common from the second term. And the value of the first integral is zero because here we have integrand is zero. Now integration of sine of n pi x by Pi u is minus pi u by n pi cos of n pi x by pi u with the limit zero to pi u, which is equal to three by pi u. Now here putting x is equal to pi u, we get minus pi u by n pi cos of n pi and minus of lower limit that is minus minus plus and putting x equal to zero here of cos zero is one that is plus pi u by n pi, which is equal to three by n pi into bracket to one. Minus minus one raised to n. Therefore, b n is equal to three by n pi into bracket one minus minus one raised to n. Now we'll see the example. Find the Fourier series of f of x equal to x when minus one is less than x is less than zero, and equal to x plus two when zero is less than x is less than one. Now here, comparing minus one. To one with minus l to l, we find that here l is one. The Fourier series of f of x in the interval minus l to l is given by f of x is equal to a naught plus summation of n equal to one to infinity a n cos n pi x by l plus b n sin n pi x by l. Here l is equal to one by putting l equal to one. That is here we get f of x is equal to a naught plus summation of n equal to one to infinity a n cos n pi x plus b n sin n pi x. Now we'll calculate the Fourier constant. First of all, a naught. A naught is equal to we have one by two l integration from minus l to l f of x dx, which is equal to here l is one. That is one by two, and integration from minus one to zero here f of x is x. That is x dx plus Integration from zero to one, f of x is x plus two, that is x plus two dx. Now integrating with respect to x, which is equal to one by two, integration of x is x square by two with the limit minus one to zero. Plus now integrating x plus two, we get x square by two plus two x with the limit zero to one. Now in the first part, putting upper limit, that is x equal to zero, we get zero minus half lower limit, that is x equal to minus one means Minus one whole square by two plus. Now putting upper limit x equal to one, that is one by two, 
and plus 2 minus half lower limit putting x equal to 0 we get the value of the lower limit is 0. Now which is equal to 1 by 2 into bracket this minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 and plus 2 that is minus 1 by 2 and plus 1 by 2 will get cancelled that is 2 by 2 which is equal to 1. Now we will calculate a n, a n is equal to 1 by l integration from minus l to l f of x cos n pi x by l dx which is equal to here l is 1 that is 1 by 1 uh, integration from minus 1 to 0 f of x is x that is x into cos of n pi x dx plus integration from 0 to 1 x plus 2 cos of n pi x dx. Now first of all we will integrate the first uh, integral taking u as a x and v as a cos n pi x by using generalized rule of integration by part. First keeping x as it is and integration of cos of n pi x is sin n pi x by n minus the derivative of x is 1 and integration of sin of n pi x by n pi is minus cos n pi x by n square pi square with the limit minus 1 to 0 plus now integrating the second integral taking u as a x plus 2 and v as a cos n pi x first we will keeping x plus 2 as it is and integration of cos n pi x is sin n pi x by n pi minus the derivative of x plus 2 is 1 and integration of sin of n pi x by n pi is minus cos n pi x by n square pi square with the limit 0 to 1. Now in the first part first we will put the upper limit x equal to 0 that is putting x equal to 0 in the first term as you know sin 0 is 0 and this into 0 that we get 0 and this minus minus plus we have cos 0 is 1 that you get 1 upon n square pi square. Now minus of lower limit putting x equal to minus 1 that is sin of minus n pi 0 therefore the first term is 0 and this minus minus plus we get cos of minus n pi that is what we get cos of n pi divided by n square pi square. Now plus now considering the second term putting x equal to 1 again sin of n pi 0 therefore the first term is 0. Now minus into minus plus putting x equal to 1 you get cos of n pi by n square pi square. Now minus of lower limit putting x equal to 0 because of sin 0 first term is 0 and this minus minus plus value of cos 0 is 1 that you get plus 1 by n square pi square which is equal to 1 by n square pi square and this minus 1 by n square pi square will get cancelled. Then minus cos n pi by n square pi square and plus cos n pi by n square pi square will get cancelled. Therefore, the value of a n is 0. Now we will calculate b n. b n is equal to 1 by l integration from minus l to l f of x sin of n pi x by l dx which is equal to 1 by 1 integration from minus 1 to 0 x into sin n pi x dx plus integration from 0 to 1 x plus 2 sin of n pi x dx. Now again here integrating by part by using the generalized rule of integration by part taking u as a x and v as a sin n pi x first we keep x as it is and integration of sin n pi x is minus cos n pi x by n pi minus the derivative of x is 1 and integration of minus cos n pi x by n pi is minus sin n pi x by n square pi square with the limit minus 1 to 0. Now integrating the second integral taking x plus 2 as a u and sin n pi x as a v. First we keeping x plus 2 as it is and integration of sin of n pi x is minus cos n pi x by n pi minus the derivative of x plus 2 is 1 and integration of minus cos n pi x by n pi is minus sin n pi x by n square pi square with the limit 0 to 1. Now putting the upper limit first here. Uh, in the first part putting x equal to 0 because of multiplication of x here first term is 0 then minus minus plus sin 0 is again 0 therefore by putting upper limit we get the value as a 0 then minus half lower limit that is minus now putting x equal to minus 1 we get uh, minus cos of n pi by n pi and minus minus plus putting x equal to minus 1 again what you get here 0. Now for the second part putting x equal to 1 here 
then we get 1 plus 2 that is 3 minus sine minus 3 by n pi cos of n pi this minus minus plus sin of n pi is 0 now minus of lower limit now putting x equal to 0 we get here minus 2 by n pi and cos 0 as a 1 and sin of 0 as 0 now which is equal to minus of minus 1 raise to n by n pi because cos of n pi is minus 1 raise to n then minus 3 by n pi into cos of n pi is minus 1 raise to n and minus minus plus 2 by n pi now taking 2 by n pi common we get which is equal to 2 by n pi into bracket 1 minus 2 into minus 1 raise to n now substituting the values of a naught a n and b n we get f of x is equal to 1 plus 2 by pi summation of n equal to 1 to infinity 1 minus 2 into minus 1 raise to n by n sin n pi x. Now references higher engineering mathematics by Dr. B. S. Grewal. Thank you.